This is Habakkuk 2 and 5. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. And boy, oh boy, you know, Esau, he just can't help himself, man. He consistently shows that he's the devil. All right. Now, you had this, uh, the governor of Florida, you know, he made the statement. He says that, uh, you know, you so-called black people, you benefited from slavery by learning skills like being a blacksmith. All right. And the real reason why Esau has this mentality is because, you know, first and foremost, he doesn't think that you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans deserve any kind of justice, you know, or any kind of repayment for the hell and atrocities that you went through. You know, so one of the things that Esau will tell you is that, oh, this was actually beneficial for you. OK. And the reason why he says that also is because going back to, you know, what we read here in Habakkuk, the second chapter, he actually believes all this bullshit that he spews out, man. All right. Let me read this again. This is Habakkuk 2 and 5. It says, yea, also because he transgressed by wine. All right. He is a proud man. And that, that wine is talking about his philosophies. All right. So all this BS that Esau has come up with, you know, his explanation behind why the world is here. You know, his explanation behind why things exist, different plants and animals, the theory of evolution, right? He actually believes this madness, you know? So according to the theory of evolution, you know, uh, man supposedly evolved from apes in Africa, you know, and then as they migrated further up, they, you know, begin to change and become more intelligent and then their skin got lighter, all right? But you other nations that are outside of, you know, the so-called Caucasian race, you are of a lesser stock, you know, you're not as smart or as intelligent as the so-called white man is, you know, you could never have any kind of uh, blacksmith or any, you didn't have any civilization established, all right, well, one of the things that Esau says is that civilization started with the Greeks, okay, so you so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans, you were just savages. You you didn't know nothing about establishing a civilization. You had no laws. You had no uh, 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 written system. Okay, so you had no complex things like blacksmithing, you know, or, or iron works, you know, or, or, or you know how to deal with with gold and deal with metal, you know, textiles. You didn't know no, nothing like that. All right, the so-called white man he taught you these things when he brought you over here in slavery. He civilized you. OK, and that's basically what this guy is saying. But the reason why he's saying that is because he believes his own madness. All right. Which all those things are false. All right. We had great civilizations. OK, when the so-called white man came over here to the new world, he was actually astonished. At the structures in the cities that, you know, uh, the northern kingdom built. OK, and during the medieval times, you so-called Negroes, you were the ones that established those uh, different societies up there, those different castles. You know, you were ruling Europe during the so-called dark age. So this is a whole bunch of BS. All right. But again, the reason why Esau believes this is because like what we read here. All right. Yea, also because he transgresses by wine. He is a proud man. So this nigga proud. He actually believes the bullshit that he didn't came up with. He believes in the, the, the theory of evolution. OK, he actually believes that you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, that you evolved from apes. You know, you 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 are the missing link. When it comes to figuring out this whole, you know, uh, evolution of fiasco. OK, oh, see, we don't know who the missing link is. The missing link, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. So, of course, you would benefit from being enslaved by a race that's superior to you. All right. So, no, we don't we don't owe you any kind of, uh, uh, you know, retribution. You shouldn't get repaid for anything that happened to you because it was a good thing. OK, and this is a prevailing thought amongst Esau. OK, it says, yea, also because he transgresses by one, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth keeper that home who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied. And another reason why he's in all these other nations, uh, you know, uh, doing what he's doing 
Okay, so-called civilized him. He believes he's over them. You know, Esau believes that he's the best thing since sliced bread. It says, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. So he can spew that madness on them. All right. But hey, man, you damn devils, you're going to have to pay. Okay, regardless of what you believe in your own mind, you know, oh, yeah, so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans benefited from slavery. You can tell yourself that. But payback is still coming to you, okay? Only thing you're doing by making statements like this is just showing how much of the devil that you are, okay? This is Psalm 73 and uh, 5. It says, they are not in trouble as other men. Talk about the so-called white man, mainly the elites, all right? It says, they are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you catching all kind of hell. You got all kind of diseases, all right, but the so-called white man, he's good. Especially these elites, man. You had one uh, uh, Rothschild. I forget it is. If it, it's a Rothschild or Rockefeller. I believe it's David Rockefeller. I might be mistaken. But he was on his, uh, what, like six or seven heart transplant before he dropped dead. You know? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you lucky if you even get an organ for a transplant. You know, this dude running through them like they going out of style. And the reason for that is because you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you under the curses. All right. It says, therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. That's a proud statement. Here it is. You know, you committed uh, uh, the worst atrocity in human history. OK. And you said that we benefited from that. You know, it was really it was a good thing. You know, I know, see you, you. You see all the pictures in the, in the movies. You see slaves getting whooped. You see their legs getting chopped off. You know, they they hands getting chopped off. Really, it was a good thing because they learned skills. You know, they didn't know how to do these things before they came in contact with, with us. Okay, we had to teach them these things. You know, so really, they 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 benefited from it. That's that pride, man. Hey, hey, you you so called white people, you going you gonna benefit a lot <laughs> from slavery. Under the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, when we got your ass in slavery, you you gonna benefit uh, a lot. It says, therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain; violence covered them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt, and, and the so-called white man is corrupt. He's he's wicked. All right, like it says in Habakkuk uh, two and four, it says his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright. And this nigga ain't right. OK, for you to make a statement like this, you 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 are the wicked. OK, you you commit a, a heinous act and then you justify it by saying, oh, see, look, hey, really, you, hey, those those people benefited from the hell that I put on. Really, it was a good thing. You know, all oh, they learned skills like like blacksmithing, you know, and then textile work. They didn't know that before. So really, it was a good thing that I did that to them. You know, that's some a corrupt and wicked individual would say. It says they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. That's the so-called white man. Okay, and you see an example of that with uh, Ron DeSantis. Now, he, ain't, he ain't the only devil that said this. You know, that one uh, devil, Matt Walsh, he made a statement like that as well. You so-called Negroes benefited from slavery, so you shouldn't uh, uh, get uh, reparations. You're here in the, the best country in the world. Okay, you have the opportunity to live here, so... You shouldn't get reparations, which we don't want your damn FRNs. All right. We're going to get a different kind of payback on you damn devils. All right. But just the mere fact that you're going to say something like that shows how wicked you are. If you enslave somebody, they deserve to get some kind of retribution or payback. OK, you damn devil saying your payback is that. Look, you, you get to live here in, in this beautiful society. All right. Oh, we, we taught you different skills, skills that you didn't know before, which is bullshit. OK, blacksmith is an old, uh, uh, you know, trade. All right. We was doing that in Europe. We was doing that in, in the land of Israel. OK, that ain't, that ain't nothing new. All right. But Esau, again, believing that bullshit that he came up with. He looks at you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans as, as savages and uncivilized. You didn't you didn't have any kind of civilization before you came in contact with him. And he actually believes this. All right. It says they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. And that's Esau Edom. All right. But at the end of the day, you damn devil's going to have to pay, man. This is Isaiah 
47. This is Isaiah 47 and 6. It says, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. And that's the only reason why we went into captivity. It wasn't because you damn devils are, are smarter than uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You more civilized. All right. The only reason we went into captivity is because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments. See how about Shemi Shah? Okay. The Most High was angry at us. Okay. You damn devils ain't smarter than we are. Okay, first of all, we the holy people of the earth. We the true rulers of the earth. Okay, the chosen people of the creator himself. So you, you ain't better than us. All right, the scriptures call you a base man. It says, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. And you didn't show us any mercy, man. Okay, and you justified it by saying, oh, look, see, now it's my time to rule. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm the top nation on the earth. Really, I'm supposed I was always supposed to be in the rulership seat, you know. It says thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke and thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. And that's the reason why these damn devils say the things that they do. OK, in, in their mind, they do not believe that they're going to be taken down like it says in Psalms 49, 11. OK, say so they, they 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 proud. They can speak loftily. They can say these things, man, because who, who's who's going to change the narrative right in Esau's mind? You know, who, who who's going to say that? No, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Actually, you you are more civilized than the so-called white man. All right. Who's going to be able to change that narrative? He's the one in power. You know. He always believes that he's going to be in the power seat because nobody uh, as of yet has been able to take him down. This nigga proud, you know, and then going back to what we bought out earlier, back to the second chapter. He didn't came up with a whole bunch of bullshit to, to you know, further puff him up. So he, he actually believes these things, man. All right. It says, and thou said, I shall be a lady forever so that thou does not lay these things to thy heart. Neither did us remember the latter end of it. So he, he's trying to, you know, get out of this. Okay, yeah, so what? I put you niggas in slavery. All right, and well, look, really, uh, you benefited from it, you know? So it ain't, it ain't no big of a deal, all right? And I, I, I ain't got to pay you niggas back because, you know, hey, you doing good right now. Look, you in the best country in the world, all right? All your, your ancestors, they learn how to be uh, blacksmiths. You, you niggas should get over it, man, Okay. But hey, you damn devils, you're going to pay. All right. You ain't you ain't getting out of this, man. All right. Yeah, how about Shimmy Howard Shy going to make you pay for what you did to the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans? Your country going to be completely destroyed and your red ass going into slavery, man. And we're going to teach you damn devils how to be blacksmiths. OK, how to do metal work and, and, and textile work. OK, how, how to dig ditches, man. You 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 Edomites, you're going to be doing a lot of digging in the kingdom. OK, you're going to be doing a lot of brick work. In the kingdom, man. Okay. You're going to go from these, uh, well, the elites, they're going to be the first ones that's going to be in slaves. They, they don't work. Okay. So they're going to learn a lot of skills in the kingdom, man. It says, therefore, hear now this, thou that are given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly. And that's a very careless statement. Okay. So, again, the last thing that these damn devils think is that they're going to have to pay for what they did to the Israelites. Okay, that's why he's saying things like this. Yeah, you, 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 you niggas, you learn skills. Okay, it was actually beneficial for you to be enslaved. All right, so what? We enslaved you niggas. Hey, you, you learn how to be a blacksmith. You on a higher level now. You know. It says, therefore, hear now this: thou that are given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow. Neither shall I know the loss of children. These Edomites don't think any kind of hell is going to come upon them. All right. It says, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood. So all out hell is coming to you, damn devil. Well, that's the reason why America's in the state that it's in right now. All right. Your economy is collapsing as we speak. Okay. Which is going to cause you Edomites to catch even more hell. That's going to kick off, you know, the famine. OK, these different uh, wars that's going to be going on within these cities. All right. Second as the 15th chapter, 16th chapter. OK, that, that's going to spark it off, man. OK, and the reason why these seeds are coming upon you is because what you did to the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. And then furthermore, your response to doing these things to the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. You ain't trying to make nothing right. 
Okay, you you are, are pushing forward saying, hey, look, so what? We did that to you, you know, or a lot of you eating mice, you'll say, oh, that, that was unfortunate. Slavery was unfortunate. Or, and, and get over it. You know, it happened. Hey, that, 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 that's what people do. Hey, hey, I'm glad you eat the mites. Feel that way, man. Keep that same energy when we enslave your ass. OK, that, that's, that's just that's just what humans do. Humans enslave other humans. We're going to enslave you damn devils, man. And we're going to put our foot knee deep in your ass. OK, and you're going to learn a lot of skills. All right. You, one of the skills you're going to learn is how to obey your masters. All right. We're going we're going to beat that pride out of you damn devils. It says, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the abundance of thine enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. And that's the reason why Esau is making statements like this. He all he believes that he's always going to be in the rulership, the rulership seat. Who's going to take me down? I can say whatever I want concerning these niggas, man. OK, you think I'm at to pay for putting these niggas in slavery? Who's going to make me pay them? All right. Look, look at the level that they on. You know, they these people are through. They were better off in slavery. At least they, they these niggas knew how to make uh, 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 you do metal work, you know. At least they were blacksmiths and they, they was actually picking cotton and doing something. You know, look at these niggas now. They're on the corner drinking. You know, they're hanging on the corner selling drugs, destroying their own community. These niggas is better off in slavery. It says, therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. Just like now, your economy is through and there ain't nothing you can do to fix this situation. OK, your economy is going to collapse. OK, your dollar is going to become worthless. All right. You're going to have all out chaos out here in these streets. It says, therefore, evil shall come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. And that desolation is going to be the ultimate plague that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to hit you with, which are those thermal nuclear missiles. OK, and that's going to be the ultimate payback. That Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to get upon you for what you did to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. So you can keep it in your mind that we benefited from it. All right. It was a good thing. Okay. But hey, you're going to get destroyed. You know, so I just want to go into that. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai willing. It was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Yahweh Hakodash, the honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone. Shalom.